Hello, uh, welcome to my 3D Amnesty channel. Um, happy New Year to everyone, I'm back. Uh, today we're gonna learn how to use UDEM in Substance Designer. Uh, this is another tutorial for what is UDEM tiles or what they are. Uh, just Google it, you'll find it. Um, let's get started. Um, I have my Substance Designer open here. It's a fresh scene. Um, when you, before importing any objects, any UDEM objects into Substance Designer, you have to create a graph. So I'm gonna call it UDEM demo so click OK so there you go I have it uh, in order to bring uh, OBJs or any other format I usually what I do is uh, I have something in my desktop so I'm gonna go and grab it let me I just click and uh, just click and drag it and let it go there you go and it will ask uh, this OBJ is unwrapped on multiple UV tiles and make sure you say yes so what that does is it comes with a uh, OBJ here. So I'm going to click and drag and throw it in here. So you could see uh, this is what I have here. Um, unfortunately, you can view the tiles here, all the tiles here. Um, but I'll show you, you know, what's the easiest way to do that. Um, the first step is uh, let's create a base material. I'll create a base material. I'm going to click and I say view in 3D. So this is like some basic uh, metal surface, and I'm gonna change it to maybe uh, maybe 2K because that'll be faster. And I'm gonna turn on uh, my base color and my roughness and my metallic. Uh, so now you can see it kind of become like a black metallic surface because there is nothing plugged in our uh, your base color. So I'm gonna hit space and I'm gonna say. New form color, and I'm gonna plug it in my base color. So nothing changed because we have to go and change the color. So I'm gonna turn it to red, as you can see. It's kind of like a bright red, and I'm gonna say I want to reduce the saturation a bit, and uh, maybe like that. So anyway, <clears throat> so I kind of adjust something, you know, uh, to see something. So uh, this is my base color. And for metallic surface, what I'm going to do, I'm going to Control C, Control V, copying the same color. And for metallic, it have to be um, like a grayscale. You can also uh, plug in a cloud node with a lot of uh, black and white noise, and uh, this will have some kind of effect like that. I don't like it, so I prefer to have like a like a normal uh, color, and I could adjust it, you know or metallic or how less metallic I want. So I don't want to be that metallic, a little bit metallic in there. So I just let it do, close to black. So now we have to create a roughness map. This is where uh, I'm going to show you how to create uh, the UDEM tiles. Uh, so right click on your OBJ and I say big model information. So when you hit, you get this window. And uh, if you have any eye definition mesh, like eye polygon, so you can just say from files or from resources, you can also import it here. Since I don't have anything for it, so I'm gonna say use lowest eye definition mesh. And I'm gonna change it to uh, 1K because since we are doing a demo and I'm gonna say TIFF, and I make sure I add a baker. So I'm gonna add an ambient occlusion and curvature and uh, thickness versus thickness, thickness, and uh, position, and world space normals. So as soon as you have it, it just start render. So once I hit start render, you could see uh, in this window, everything is updating here. And now it's doing curvature, and now it's doing thickness map. And if you see uh, the IGO, what I imported here, it has like six tiles. So it's doing for everything. Um, so you could go and uh, check in all the maps in here for all the UV tiles. And I'm gonna close it. So you can also see here, it also says UDEM at the end. It means like uh, it has UDEMs for everything from 1001 to 1006. Okay, let's uh, do something. Um, <clears throat> environments and we're done something like that so we are here um, I'm going to change the roughness surface so what I'm going to do is I want to go to um, let's say grease I'm going to take this grease and it requires a thickness map so I'm going to grab a thickness map 
from here and just plug it in there. So if I double click on it, you can see it's the first item 1001 I need to apply grease filters on it. So if I plug this into my roughness, it apply to all the materials. So now I could adjust my grease from here. So I could say level. So you could see it's changing here. Um, it's just a demo purpose. I'm not trying to be super awesome with it. So you could see it kind of like um, it's basic. One, two, I'm just playing with it just to have some kind of variation. So, yeah, uh, uh, there you go. Um, if you see, there you go. Um, I have it here now. So now, what I'm going to do is, if you right click here, this material, what we created, it applied to all the items by now. It just Apply to one as one OBJ. So as soon as I right click and I say assign substance graph to 3D mesh, go to I. So we kind of going to this hierarchy. I and go to this is shading group by import from I and hit all. So now this material has been applied to all the item tiles. So how do we check it? So if you see at the top of uh, top of a year, it says 1001. If it says 1002 it changes here. You can literally see this map and this map changes. 1003 and 1004 and 1005. You could see it applied on all the mesh. But the only problem with uh, Substance Designer is it will show only the unit of 1005 and it applies a basic material on other things. So that's the only thing I don't like about Substance Designer about the item tiles. You could view each individual tiles, but you can view everything at the same time. So that's my problem with Substance Designer, but like when you want to create materials, uh, you could use you know, Substance Designer for it. So if I go to 1006, you could see it shows on the 1006. Um, if I go to 1001, I think uh, this is the part, this is 1001, and you could see it kind of like added uh, some kind of variation on top of it. Um, <clears throat> So after that, you can you know output the maps and everything. That's a chapter for another thing. And this is how you use Udom in Substance Designer. And if you have any questions, you know leave a comment and uh, please subscribe. And I uh, know uh, and I will see you in the next tutorial. And thanks for watching, guys. And uh, once again, thanks for supporting me so far.